So to start, we're going to need a 32 ounce deli cup uh, with a lid. We're going to take this cup and we're going to use a soldering iron or a drill with a 3 16th inch drill bit to place 12 holes around the top of the cup. The first two holes we're going to make are right on the top on opposite sides and these are going to be used to hang the trap. Next, we're going to place 10 holes around the top inch of the trap, about 3 quarters of the way around. We want to leave one side of it intact so that we can pour out the trap when it's filled. Just going to try and evenly space these holes about 3 16th of an inch around the top inch of our deli cup. Now once that's done, we can take a piece of nylon cord and thread it through those first two holes that we made. In order to make a handle. Now that that's done, we can work on the lid. We're going to take the lid and you see I place a small hole right in the center. We're going to use a paper clip and thread it through and this is going to be um, used to hang a yellow sticky card into the trap. So I've bent the paper clip and now I'm going to use just a dab of glue to secure that in place. And wait just a few moments for this to dry. Okay, while that's drying, we can mix up our attractive solution that's going to go into the trap. I have right here, this is three cups of water. Add eight tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of yeast. And add just a drop or two of dish soap, unscented dish soap, to help break the surface tension. Now this solution is actively fermenting, so you go, you're going to want to make this the day you use it. We can pour about 150 milliliters of this solution into our trap. It'll be about an inch of volume in the bottom of the trap. Okay. And I'll take a marker and mark this level on the trap so that you don't have to measure again. Once that's done and our lid is dry, we're ready to add the sticky card. You can keep the sticky card whole like I have here, which means it's going to dangle in the solution a bit. Or you can cut it in half, as I did here, so that it doesn't touch the solution. And now your trap is ready to hang.